Do you love using essential oils but have no idea which carrier oils are safe when you have septum? Are you using natural oils on your face because you heard that they were good for you but they are actually making your acne and septum rash worse? Then this video is for you. I'll tell you why most natural plant oils are bad for seborrheic dermatitis and the only three carrier oils I recommend when you have septum. Hi, this is Sharon here from madamewell.com. This is where I teach you how to take control of seborrheic dermatitis once and for all. So there is no more rash, no more itch, and no more shame. So if you desperately want to learn how to get rid of septum, smash the like button and subscribe for more info you won't find anywhere else. I love essential oils and use them in my skincare routine, in my shampoos, and even make my own oil blends for perfume. And if you're like me, you'll know that as wonderful and natural as essential oils are, it doesn't mean they're without risk. Many essential oils are too strong to be used pure. They need to be diluted in a carrier oil before you can safely use them. Carrier oils are usually unscented, natural plant oils that don't alter the essential oil effect on your skin. A good carrier oil not only acts as a dilution oil, but it also hydrates, it soothes, reduces inflammation, and promotes healing. There's probably a dozen good carrier oils to choose from. There's sweet almond oil, argan oil, avocado oil, rosehip oil, grape seed oil, and even coconut oil can be used as carrier oils. But if you have septum, choosing the wrong carrier oil can be a problem. Most plant oils contain long-chain fatty acids that can feed malassezia and cause more inflammation. Some oils don't even absorb well and can sit on your skin, causing clogged pores. I made another video on oils you should avoid with septum. I'll link to it in the description box below. There are only three carrier oils that I think are safe to use when you have septum. The first one is MCT oil. Even though it's usually derived from coconut oil, MCT oil is literally made up of only medium chain fatty acids and don't contain any long chain fatty acids at all. MCTs have been shown to be helpful for septum due to its antifungal, antibacterial and anti-inflammatory effects. There are plenty of MCT oils on the market, but one of my favourites is the Bulletproof MCT oil. Yep, this is the same company who makes Bulletproof coffee. I'll link to it below. And if you use my code MADAMWELL20, you'll get an extra 20% discount on any Bulletproof product. Jojoba oil is another great option. This oil is extracted from the jojoba plant, and it's basically liquid wax. Even though jojoba oil contains long-chain fatty acids, it's only a small percentage of the oil. More importantly, jojoba oil has a very low oleic acid content. It's also anti-inflammatory and is high in vitamin E, vitamin C and zinc, which helps to heal your skin. If you plan on applying the oil to your face or neck, my recommendation is squalane oil. It's light, it's non-greasy, and it's really easily absorbed. Squalene oil is actually the oil that most resembles our natural sebum. Even though it's naturally derived, squalene oil is a hydrocarbon that is similar to mineral oil, so it doesn't contain any fatty acids that can feed malassezia. I have oily skin and congested pores anyway, so I hardly ever use oils on my face except in winter. But I do use oils on my neck and the rest of my body all the time. And all three of these oils, MCT oil, jojoba oil, and squalane oil, have never caused any problems with septum flares or skin irritation. What carrier oils have you tried? Did you find that it caused your septum to flare up? Or did it make your rash better? Let us know in the comments below so we can all learn from it. Make sure to subscribe to learn more about controlling septum and getting rid of it once and for all. See you in the next video. Bye!